Good morning, Steve the Daily Shaver. This morning, the humble scuttle. This one cost me 50 cents or a dollar out of a thrift shop. Absolutely brilliant. The only downside is the sides curve in and your brush, not too bad on that one because of the height, but on some, on some, can drive you barmy. Obviously, the con. Got a bit of Tupperware or it's Chinese Asian knockoff equivalent, absolutely perfect and a really good size. Not a problem for the Kong, no banging, bit smooth but it whips up leather just fine. Good grip, you can hold it by that. The big thing is not losing your grip and uh, this one, not a problem. If it was a straight bowl, problem off. My grandpa loved this. Absolutely brilliant for your smaller brushes. It's just the tin ceramic coated stainless steel cup mug found in most of your um, camping stores. Shaving factory, something you'll find on Amazon. Perfectly fine, perfectly adequate. Um, again, it's got a smaller area for whipping. A slightly shorter, wider version in one of the kits. I can't remember who made it. To but anyway, it's got the I think this was a soup one. I find it brilliant. You lock onto there. And for brushes, it's not a bad size as long as it doesn't hit. But you can't get a real big whip up. But That's again, just from Ginger's Garden. Love this. Love that. It will be going up the end of here on a hook that I have to put up. Um, good thing about it is I absolutely love this. I love being able to put my fingers through there, have a firm grip, because when you've got leather and it's getting on your fingers, things get slippery. And there's a good reason I have a um, nice thick towel sitting on top of my tiles <laughs> from time to time. Not good. Don't recommend to try this at home. Um, brilliant. I'll tell you what this is good for. Because of its size, it's really good for melting a puck of something in the bottom of that and using it to load a brush. Uh, depending on the size that you're putting in there, absolutely brief. A large coffee cup. You know this is Jacob, the one my mum insisted on trying her new ceramic paints on. The thing I wanted was it on the inside to rough it up so I could get better leather. But does your mother listen to you? <laughs> Mine doesn't listen to me. Anything I say are mere suggestions to her artistic creativity and she should be left in peace. Okay, Samson. Now, if you want to know the difference between these two, right, that's big. This is freaking huge. I mean, it just about fit that in there. Okay, Samson. Things that are good about Samson. Again, handle, good grip. Nice big size, even with my biggest brush. As long as I put my fingers on the side, because it will still bang. Plenty of room to get agitation, and uh, takes even my largest brush. Nice high sides, you can whip a lot of leather, doesn't go anywhere. This was just a gift, don't know where they got it from. Um, C and D, dishwasher and microwave porcelain, made in China, probably get it off eBay. Certainly, maybe a $2 shop somewhere. What I consider the piece de resistance, the fine lathering bowl. Now, to compare, okay, it has a slightly larger diameter than even my Samson, which is nice. It obviously is nowhere near as deep, but what it has is these on the bottom for getting maximum lather happening and agitation with your brush. The other thing is it allows with the curved bit here to lay your brush which I like when you're done for photographic purposes if you're doing shades of the day. The other thing is it doesn't really need big sides. As long as they're, and with the width of this, um, the leather will fold in. This will be my first use of this today. So I just like run through um, the things that I have. I like collecting things like this because I give them away with, uh, and um, a cheap razor of some kind. And they're my um, starter kits that I give people. That's what I do with the basic cheap stuff that's uh, perfectly good. You'll get fantastic shades. If you get sent a container that, or you can buy plastic containers for like a dollar or five or six of them for a couple of dollars, um, just fill them with a bit of shaving cream. They're great for getting people started in wet shaving. It's all you need. Never waste a container. I know So Sharp David has given away heaps of kits to friends, family and uh, students. 
think that's great. I think young men don't get taught um, how to shave properly. They don't get taught basic skills that are necessary. There's a whole coven of things that women share with each other online and wet shaving is the best thing you can introduce your um, nephews to. That's my opinion. Take it or leave it. Remember, good food, good friends, good shaves, amen. And while it's nice to be important, it's always more important to be nice. Go forth, share the good message, which is wet shaving's fun. Good shades then. Goodbye.